Today we're going to learn how to find the equation of a line using the slope of the line and a point on the line. So we're going to use slope-intercept form to do this. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Well, we know everything here but b. So we can use our m and our x and y to find b. And then we can write our equation by plugging in for m and b at the end. So I'll show you two examples and then I'll let you practice. So first of all, our x comes from our ordered pair. It's the x-coordinate of our ordered pair. So what is our y? Right, our y is negative 2. So negative 2 is equal to m times x. So we took our x and we plugged in and we took our m and we bring down our plus b. Now we're going to bring down negative 2. Negative 5 times 5, because they're right next to each other, is negative 25. And we add b. But we're solving for b, so we have to do the opposite of minus 25 or negative 25. So we're going to add 25 to both sides of our equation, which is exactly what we want. And we have negative 2 plus 25, which is positive 23. Now you have what you need to write the equation of your line. You have b is equal to 23, and we have m is equal to negative 5. So now we plug in for m and b. y is equal to negative 5x plus 23. m was negative 5, and b is 23. So this is your answer. So that's the first problem. We'll do one more problem. And then you'll get to practice. If you need to rewind, you can rewind. Make sure you write the problem down so you'll have a good example of what you need to do. Let's go to number two. So my second example for you, we have m is equal to four-thirds with the ordered pair of negative two zero on that line. So we're going to use the exact same procedure. Y is equal to mx plus b. And we're going to plug in for m, x, and y. See if you can remember what x and y are. Where did they come from? Yep, they come from the ordered pair. So x is negative 2 and y is 0. So 0 is equal to m, which is 4 thirds, times x, which is negative 2, plus b. So now we have that, we go ahead and multiply. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, and that's the same as negative 2 over 1, so we do 3 times 1, and that's 3. Okay, so now we have to solve for b, so we move our negative 8 thirds by adding 8 thirds, because the inverse operations make it go away. But we have to balance everything, so we also have to do it on the other side of our equation. So 8 thirds is equal to b. Now you have your m and you have your b. So now you can plug it into slope-intercept form. y is equal to 4 thirds x plus 8 thirds. m was 4 thirds and b was 8 thirds. So this is your answer. Okay, go ahead and study over this. Make sure you have it written down and then you can come see me for your practice.